Um, and I had, at the time, I had the dream of going back to Britain and, and making films about British history, um, which hadn't been covered in the mainstream. You know, working class history, the struggles of ordinary people. I mean, British history was always taught. It was always about the kings and the queens um, and the prime ministers and the acts of parliament. But we never really were told about the real history of our country. And so that was my dream, but it, it, it remained a dream, unfortunately. Because um, when I went back, and I did apply to a number of television companies trying to find work, but I was only given an interview by one. Well, I only had a response from one, um, which was Granada Television uh, in Manchester, and they had a very good progressive um, tradition. Um, but I just found it very difficult. They, they obviously were very suspicious of someone who'd studied in the GDR. I mean, you know, you you came, you studied in the communist world, so that they, I wasn't likely to find a job. Um, and in the end, I thought, well, why, why not work for the GDR if it's possible? And I asked them whether they would be interested in having a correspondent in Britain. And luckily, they, they said yes. So th that's when I started working for GDR television. Yes, I was thrown in at the deep end, um, basically, yeah. Um, I had a small Ariflex 16 millimeter camera and um, a Mayak wind-up tape recorder to begin with before we moved on to Ewa and Nagra. Um, and I was required to do around 15 items, news items per month, which was quite a lot. It was, it was a hell of a lot to get together. I mean, I didn't always, sometimes we managed more than 15, but most times it was, it was slightly less. Um, and it was, most of them were about events happening in Britain on the ground, whether they were strikes, demonstrations, uh, items on housing. Um, we covered the party conferences each year, Labour, Conservative and Communist Party conferences, um, and various big events, obviously the big Vietnam demonstrations. Anyway, we tried to get as 15 items together if we could, and sometimes they were rejected, sometimes they weren't. Um, but the interesting thing is, I think, that um, for a lot of people who don't or even do know the GDR, was that we were never told what to do. I mean, that was, that was in a sense, a great sense of freedom for us, but it was also a bit difficult because we had to think, think up ideas and find things that we, by ourselves. Um, and the only, only on rare occasions would we be told, can you interview so-and-so? We would like this person to be interviewed, but most most of the items we chose ourselves, and um, uh, and and they either took them or they didn't take them. You know, that sometimes they weren't deemed appropriate, but most times they they were used. I think most most of the items we shot were used. Well, uh, as I say, to begin with, we would we were just doing short news items for the Actuella camera, which was was in many ways very frustrating because they were very short, and you couldn't really say very much. Um, and it wasn't the sort of filmmaking I was really interested in. Um, but luckily, after a couple of years, we did start making then longer films. We made several for Prisma or Object, Objective, um, which were 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, and this is before we started working for Sabina Cartins and the Cartins Gruppe, where we started making what I would say proper uh, full-length documentaries, uh, which was much more interesting and much more challenging. Um, but to begin with, it, uh, as I mentioned in, in, in my book, in the early years, of course, it was also drumming up support for the recognition of the GDR because I was only employed by the GDR to begin with because it had no foreign correspondence and, and it, it, was, it found it very difficult um, because each correspondent had to be accredited, particularly from a communist country, and they wouldn't get accreditation in most countries because the GDR wasn't recognised as a country. Um, and, um, and they had, so they couldn't report as they would like to report. So that was our job, basically, to do what the GDR correspondents couldn't do or what the GDR itself couldn't do, because um, we, could, we could move around freely as a British citizen um, and, or West German citizen. It was, it was not a problem for us to move around. <laughs> 